Hey web design friends, it's Josh here. In this quick tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to download media files directly from WordPress. So I use this little trick all the time, particularly now that I'm working with a team because sometimes we'll be working on files and uploading things to the website and then I might not have that file on my computer or it might not be in our project folder, but a lot of times we want to retrieve it. Out of the gate, WordPress does not allow you to just download files from the media library. It's kind of unfortunate. I'm a bit surprised they don't have it set like that. So for example, if you go to a media, let's say you wanna download a picture or something, you can't just, there's no download button here to retrieve it. Now there are quite a few different ways to go about getting images and files that you put on your computer. Um, you could always go through FTP directly to the server. You could go through your cPanel and go to the file manager and download images like that directly from your WP content folder. You can also right click and use inspect element. And a lot of times you can find, in this case, I found the background image for this section right here. And I could paste this entire URL up in my browser and retrieve it that way. However, there are certain situations where you're not gonna be able to find those files like that, and I'm gonna show you how to download those in this situation. So, for example, we're wrapping up this site right here, and I need to edit this background video. I actually need to make this an animated GIF. So, my first thought was to do that same thing I just showed you, was to right-click, use Inspect Element, but the problem is, in this particular design, particularly since I'm using Divi, um, the video background does not show up anywhere here in the code on the left or on the right. So the way I need to download this is I'm gonna go into the dashboard into our media section, and you can apply the same method to any file that you wanna grab. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search through my media library and I'm gonna find that exact file. So we're gonna click this, and again, WordPress does not give us the ability to just download it right here, but what you can do is you can take the entire URL where this file is located Go up here, paste it in your browser, and then that is going to bring you to the file. And in this case, I wanna download this video, so I can do that right here, and there we go. I have the file, it just downloaded to my computer. Same thing if we go back to my tutorial site here, like if I wanted to grab this uh, picture here, again, I could go through Inspect Element, or you could go right into your media file, and let's go Media, and let's pretend we wanna download that background picture. Same thing, I could just take this, drop it in the URL, and there we go. Now I can right click and save this image as well, just like I did with that video. So, hope this one helps. Again, all you have to do is whatever image, video, or file that you wanna download from WordPress, you just go to your media file, and you can actually find that, and then just click on it, grab that URL, paste it in your browser, and then you are good to download. It's a super handy little trick. Again, there's numerous ways to go about it, but I found this to be the easiest, so hope this helps, and I'll see you guys on the next tutorial.